and someone, uh, uh, Emily, can you just make sure that uh, I'm being heard? Yes, I can hear you, Judge. All right, thank you. And we do have our court reporter ready. Can you hear Is me? Is that correct? Yes, I can One hear morning. you now. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right, let's get started. Um, let's go on the record. Today is November 6, 2024. The time is 12.56 p.m. Uh, thank everyone for your patience uh, today. And this, is, this hearing is being conducted via Cisco WebEx online. Before we go any further, I'd ask that everyone make sure that their device is on mute until I call on you to speak. If you're using a landline phone or an older cell phone without a mute button, star six will mute and unmute your phone. My name is Ken Sire. I'm a regulatory law judge with the Missouri Public Service Commission, and I will preside over this hearing. The commission has set this time for a local public hearing to give members of the public a chance to comment about Missouri American Water Company's application for a general rate increase for water and sewer service, which is commission file number WR-2024-0320. The commission regulates the rates charged by public utility companies in Missouri to ensure that those rates are just and reasonable. The commission also regulates the quality and service of service and safety of the operations of public utilities. Uh, the commission is composed of five commissioners. They are appointed by the governor and confirmed by the Senate. The commission employs a staff of engineers, accountants, attorneys, financial analysts, and other specialists in the field of utility regulation. Joining us online today is the chair of the commission, Kayla Hahn, and Commissioners Maida Coleman, Jason Holzman, Glenn Kolkmeyer, and John Mitchell. The Commissioners have not made any decisions in this case and cannot answer any questions today because they have to remain impartial until after all the evidence is presented at the evidentiary hearing in this matter, which is scheduled to begin on February 27th. Chair Hahn, at this time, would you like to make any opening remarks? Thank you, Judge Sire. Appreciate the the time today. I, on my on behalf of myself and on behalf of the entire commission, I just want to take the time to thank those who are planning to testify today. We look forward to hearing your comments about this particular case and learning from you about your experiences. So, with that, uh, again, thank you, and look forward to hearing your comments. Thanks, Judge. Thank you, Chair Hahn. Uh, there are attorneys here today representing the parties in this matter. For the record, would each of you identify yourselves and state which party you're representing, uh, beginning with Missouri American Water Company? Thank you, Judge. Dean Cooper from the law firm of Bryden Swearingen in England, PC, PO Box 456, Jefferson City, Missouri, 65102, appearing on behalf of Missouri American Water Company. On behalf of uh, the commission staff. Yes, um, Ron Irving for the commission staff. I believe the uh, recorder have my information. Thank you. And for the office of the public council. Thank you, your honor. John Kleiser on behalf of the Missouri office of the public council. My contact information is in the record. All right. Are there any additional attorneys representing parties today? All right. Hearing none, uh, the way we'll proce proceed this afternoon will be to call the names of the people that have uh, signed up to testify. Um, when I call your name, please uh, unmute your device and I will place you under oath and ask you to state and spell your name. And then you can offer your comments to the commission. Um, we will try to limit comments to five minutes per person. 
and then once you're finished with your comments, please remain online or on the phone and uh, for the possibility of questions from the commissioners or the attorneys for the parties. So on the list that I have, the first name is Curtis Brennecke. Is Hello, there I'm here, sir. All right, thank you. Mr. Brennecke, uh, before you testify today, I'd like to place you under oath. So do you swear or affirm that the testimony you give in this hearing shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, sir. All right. Could you go ahead and state and spell your name? Curtis Brennecke, C-U-R-T-I-S, Brennecke, B-R-E-N-N-E-C-K-E. -E. Okay. Thank you. Um, go ahead with your testimony. Uh, my testimony is probably going to be a little shorter than what I anticipated. I just believe that uh, Missouri American Water um, should not be allowed to have this rate increase due to the uh, amount of um, money that has already been um, gathered by them, specifically for the Eureka, Missouri locations. Um, regards to water that we have not had even made by or uh, treated by Missouri American Water. Um, they've collected a lot of revenue at that end, as well as regards, and, and no infrastructure yet, as well as the um, the top executives for Missouri American Water making quite a lot of money um, on top of this and not much money would be used for this rate increase for infrastructure. Uh, a lot of that money, I believe, would be used for um, uh, executives and not for uh, infrastructure like we would hope it would be, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, are there any questions for Mr. Brennecke from the commissioners? Any questions from the attorneys for the parties? All right. Thank you, Mr. Brennecke, for your testimony. You can uh, remain on if you'd like, or uh, you're free to leave the meeting. Thank you, sir. And the next list name on the list is Abby Jennings. Ms. Jennings, are you uh, participating in the meeting this afternoon? All right. Judge, you went mute again. Apologize. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The uh, next name on the list is Yvette Levy or Levy. Um, yes, um, that's me. Um, are you able to hear me? I can hear you. And uh, which pronunciation is correct, if either? Is it um, Levy or Le Levy or? It's Levy, Levy. Okay, thank you. All right, Ms. Levy, before you testify today, I'd like to place you under oath, if that's all right. Yeah. Okay. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you give today in this hearing shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Okay, thank you. Ms. Levy, would you uh, st state and spell your name for the court reporter, please? It's Y, V as in Victor, E, double T, E, last name L, E, V as in Victor, Y. All right. Um, go ahead with your comments. Okay, um, I wanted to say that um, it's well documented that um, the many, very many numerous water main breaks throughout St. Louis are due to poorly maintained, maintained aging infrastructure. And um, until Missouri American Water Company can show that current revenue is not wasted and is properly spent on preventive replacement and maintenance of the infrastructure, and quality assurance of the water. I don't think that a rate increase is fair to the consumer. 
Um, our property was directly affected by a water main break due to a poorly maintained inf to the poorly maintained infrastructure in New City, and our repairs cost upwards of sixty thousand dollars to repair. And Missouri American Water Company did not take responsibility for um, repairing the damage or paying to repair this damage. And um, uh, Youth City Public Library was also affected by a water main break, as well as many others all throughout the St. Louis area, which just goes to show that over the years, Missouri American Water Company has neglected to make proper repairs and maintain the infrastructure. So um, I believe the water company needs to take responsibility and be held accountable, and the public deserves appropriate oversight and transparency as to when, where, and how the current revenue is spent. And this needs to happen before consumers should be faced with another rate increase. And that was really basically all I wanted to say. All right. Thank you, Ms. Levy. And can I ask you this, just for the sake of the record, you mentioned U City Public Library, that's University City? Yes, U City. Like uh, within the last two or three years, if you look up online, all the water main breaks throughout the city and it's, you know, long term neglect and not repairing and not doing the job with the current revenue that they're receiving. So, you know, just wondering, would lack like transparency to see where the money has gone over the years before giving more, you know, before just giving more money and having it not go to where it's got to go. So. All right. Thank you. Uh, do any of the commissioners have yeah. any questions for Ms. Le Levy? Ms. Uh, Levy, uh, Chair Hahn has a question. You mentioned that you experienced yeah. a, a leak that cost $60,000 um, was it determined that the so, leak um, was on your property or was it the responsibility of Missouri American? Just could you tell me more about that particular claim? Yeah. This Thank was you. a, this was a, this was a very large water main break, um, outside, not on our property at all. Our proper property is on Gannon Avenue. And this water main break occurred by North and South and Gannon Road up the block. And there was a tremendous amount of water um, due to this water main break that completely flooded the basement up until the landing of the stairs of the building. And so everything that was in the basement, utilities, water, water heater, furnace, um, uh, washing machines, um, et cetera, et cetera, were completely damaged. Um, there were, there was another property also damaged like that as well. Our repairs cost upwards of sixty thousand dollars, which you know our insurance did cover. But Missouri American Water, and I think I believe they have Travelers Insurance as they, as the insurance company, refused to acknowledge responsibility or pay for any of the repairs. Thank you. Appreciate that. It was a very large. Yeah, it was a very large water main break. Miss Levy, just so I understand you correctly, you mentioned Gannon Road. Is that correct? Um. Yes. Gannon Avenue. That, Gannon Avenue. Is that G A N N O N? Correct. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yes. Our repairs are still ongoing. It's been like over, you know, a year now already and inspections, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, yes. Okay. Are there any questions, any additional questions from the commissioners or from the attorneys for the parties? All right. Thank you. Uh, and thank you for your testimony, Ms. Levy. Ms. Okay, you're welcome. Is, thank you very okay. much. Ms. Levy's is the last name that I have on the list. Uh, is there anyone who did not sign up ahead of time who uh, would like to testify today? Yeah, I would. Makisha, 
Caldwell. All right. All right. Ms. Caldwell, uh, I may have to have, well, I'm not sure why there's a little bit of feedback on my end. Can you hear me? Is it good? I can hear you, but I could also hear me, which was a little bit of a problem. <laughs> But we'll we'll plod through that if you don't mind. Okay. So before you testify today, I'd like to swear you in. Okay. Uh, do you swear or affirm that the testimony given this hearing shall be true and nothing but the truth? Yes. All right. Uh, okay. I'm racking my brain as to how we can possibly cure this. Uh, and is it, is it just me? Is it, is there is there there? Yes. No, I think she needs to put it on the speakers. Okay, so this is, this this is for us. We, we have a couple of people who are, un, who are unmuted. They need to mute because they're getting feedback back from their speakers. So please go to the mute and turn it to your You should be able to mute all. It's called, well, do you see how old I am? Do you, are, you sure, are you sure you're confident I can handle that task? Let's see. Well, I actually, I don't hear myself anymore. So some, some something got, oh, no, I do hear myself. It's me. Again. It's me because I unmute, I muted and then it was good. And then I unmuted. So I'm the problem. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Um, but you are under oath, correct? I did place I you under oath. under oath. Yes. All right. Then okay. could you go ahead and state and spell your name for the record? Yes, my name is Makisha Caldwell, M-A-K-E-S-H-A, -E Caldwell, C-A-L-D-W-E-L-L. -L. All, right. All right. And and you are a Missouri American customer, I assume. Yes. And in and what in part, part of the, of the state... state are you a customer? Uh, uh, St. Louis, Missouri. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, go ahead with your testimony. Yeah, I'm just a regular customer, but 34% um, increase of a bill is excessive. I mean, I don't know anybody on the commission that would be happy with a 34% increase in anything. I mean, it could be a box of cereal. If it costs 34% more, you're going to have an attitude. Now, I don't exactly know what you guys do with the whole water business, all right? I get water in my house, it's clean, it's fine, okay? But I just don't wanna pay 34% extra. You know, um, I understand it should be an increase, but 34% is just excessive. I mean, you're going to spend the money on whatever you spend the money on. Executive compensation. I mean, it takes a whole bunch of different areas to make a business go around. But with me, just, just make it less than 34%. I mean, probably 10% would be okay, but that 34% is excessive. And that's all I got to say. All right. Thank you, Ms. Caldwell. All right. Uh, do any of the commissioners or the attorneys for the parties have questions for Ms. Caldwell? All right, I hear none. So, um, Ms. Caldwell, thank you for your testimony. Thank you. Is there anyone else who is online right now who would like to offer their testimony today? All right, I, uh, I'm gonna assume by the silence that there is not uh, any additional people who would like to testify today. For those of you online, if, excuse me, for those of you online, if you would like to uh, make comments on the commission's website, um, the commission's website is psc.mo.gov, G-O-V. And, if you go to the home page on the right side of the home page is a submit comments link. If you click on that link, there'll be a, an area where you can add your comments about this case. And please reference this case number 
WR-2024-0320. Uh, uh, before we uh, conclude the hearing this afternoon, Chair Hahn, would you like to make any closing remarks? Happy to, thanks Judge Sire. Just wanna take the time to thank Mr. Brennicke, Ms. Levy and Ms. Caldwell for their comments in this case. I know undoubtedly they will help us make better decisions uh, moving forward. So I know it's a beautiful day outside. Thank you for spending your time with us um, from noon to one, really appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Thank you to all who uh, participated or um, uh, listened in uh, this me. afternoon. Can you, yes. can you repeat? Can you repeat the case number once for? Sure, sure, not a problem. It is WR-2024-0320. Thank you. All right. If there's nothing further. Uh, Thank you very much. You're welcome. If there's nothing further, I'll adjourn the hearing. And we'll go off the record. Going off the record. Thank you. Have a good day.